Okay. So, I've got my M5 Allen wrench, and I've got the wrench, the, the long mill wrench, for rotating the eccentric nuts. This is for an M5 nut. And um, what I'm trying to do here is, um, obviously right now the eccentric nuts are at the top of their movement because that's where we left them. But um, that's not tensioning down on the rails at all. That's allowing the rails to fit loosely uh, between the wheels for the assembly process. And so what we want to be doing at this next step is tensioning them down so that they're pressing an appropriate amount onto the rail. So if you want to ensure that it's pressing down properly, the gauge for that is that since these bottom wheels are already tightened, um, once we finish tightening these top wheels, what we should be able to feel is that you're able to rotate the wheel by hand uh, with your fingers. So when you're doing the tensioning process, the, um, the adjustment with the eccentric nuts, if you go and you finish tightening everything down and then you try to rotate the wheel and this wheel and this wheel and this wheel and they're all like not moving at all, then that means that you've got the wheels on too tight. Um, in the other case, if you, for example, on these bottom wheels here, uh, you can see my fingers able to rotate them very, very, very easily, and that's indicative that it's on too loosely. So, I will show you what it's supposed to look like. Usually what I do is I have uh, one hand with an Allen wrench into the M5 nut on this side, and then one hand with the adjustment wrench on this side, which is adjusting how much uh, clamping is happening. Now, normally what I like to do is um, I like to um, rotate the nut in the direction that I'm going to be rotating the bolt, because in case the bolt causes the nut to spin, a little bit extra as I'm tightening this down it'll cause it to tighten a little bit further than where I set it to so what that means is I can set it to position where it's still just the slightest bit loose and then when I finish tightening down it'll be tight or as long as I'm holding tightly with the wrench I can tighten it all the way and not have to worry about it. The best way to do this is to begin with the eccentric nut all the way at the top and just move it down a little bit and tighten the wheel. This is just to start. And then look at where I put it on this first wheel and set the eccentric nut to the same location on the second wheel. Approximately and tighten down here as well. Now, once both of those are tight, obviously the top wheels, they might be able to move. This one here, I can see it's still very loose. This one's very tight, because a lot more of the weight is on the back of the machine than it is on the front, or I should say, more of it, but I can feel this bottom wheel is quite loose, and this bottom wheel, when, I, when I'm when uh, i pressing down on the front here, is also reasonably loose. I don't have to put in too much effort, I'm just twisting this a bit, I don't have to put too much effort in at the bottom or at the top here. To rotate the wheels. I don't have to put too much effort on the bottom. And at the top here, it takes a little bit more effort. But these wheels, um, they act in pairs. So 
it should be uh, not too easy to turn uh, the pair of them. So what that means is that we should now open these bolts back up again, turn the wrench a little bit further, and then tighten the bolts back down again. Same on this side. I'm going to loosen the bolt, rotate the wrench a little bit. I know you can't see it, but that's what I'm doing. And tighten the bolt back down. And now I can go through and feel it again. So this wheel here and this wheel here as a set, these feel much better because when I go to rotate this bottom wheel, it takes a little bit of effort, but I can barely turn this with my fingers. This top one takes a little bit less effort. I can still turn it relatively easily. Let's try the back here. This bottom one, I can still turn relatively easily. And this top one, I can hardly turn at all. If I lift this up a little bit, now I can barely turn this with my fingers here, and I can almost barely turn this with my fingers here. So I'm going to turn this front pair just a, a little bit more, and then this back pair, I'm going to turn it just a hair. Just a hair. So I'm just going to rotate the wrench a little bit more. Tighten it down again. This one here. Just the hair on that one. Okay. Okay, and now for this front pair, both sets are tricky to turn by hand. And same goes for the rear pair. So that is now the, uh, I hope you now understand that that's the full process that you go through for doing the initial tensioning of your V-wheels. Um, Take your time with it. The reason I started fully wide, turned it only a little bit, tightened it down just to see how it felt, was because you want to kind of slowly approach the appropriate amount of tension uh, or clamping force between your wheels. You don't want to begin by overestimating it um, and then backing it back off because um, if I'm turning this eccentric nut most of the way and tightening down on the bolt, then now the amount of clamping that's happening between the wheels and the rail is quite high and, it, and um, you really don't want to be doing that to your wheels. So you kind of just start on the looser side and work your way in.